And in order to do that, what you're going to need to do is apply some rules regarding circles. Does anybody see what would happen when I connect the center to the point of tangency? What kind of a triangle? The radius and point of ta or tangent line intersect at what? You remember that rule? At a 90 degree angle? So we have this radius of 8, this radius of 3. And now, between these two triangles that are formed, what do you know about those triangles? They're similar because you have vertical angles similar or equal. So by AA similarity, you have two similar triangles. Okay. So if you know that this whole length of the blue segment connecting the centers is 22, can you find what each portion is? Okay. So, so did you use ratios? You just took trial and error. Okay. So if you look at this. We know that this length from here, if we call this, let's say, x and y, x and y together add up to 22. Do you know what the ratio is of x and y? It's going to be what to what? Well, 8 to 3. y is going to be 8 times some multiplier. x is going to be 3 times that same multiplier. So in order to find out what that is, you can do one of a couple things. Okay, one, we could think of each of these segments in terms of the same variable. So if this portion was x, in terms of x, what would this portion be? The whole length was 22. Segment addition says the remaining portion would be 22 minus x, right? So here's 22 minus x and x. So you could set up your ratios. Since you have similar triangles, you could say that x over 22 minus x is equal to what ratio? 3 over 8. And then you can cross multiply and solve for x. And that's one possibility. And there's another possibility that may be a little bit simpler. And if you do trial and error on here because the numbers wind up being integers, and you can test it, but it won't always be integer values. It might be decimals. But the other way is to use ratios. And so if you know that the ratio of these parts is 3 to 8 okay, of these two similar triangles, that means the ratio of all corresponding parts has that same ratio. So x is going to be what fraction of the whole thing? Here we're looking at part to part. If you convert this into a part to whole ratio, the smaller one is 3 out of what? What fraction of the whole? 3 elevenths. And the larger one is 8 elevenths. And so you could use that in a more simple calculation to find what this portion is. This portion is 3 elevenths of 22. And what is 3 elevenths of 22? 11 goes into 22 twice. You get 6 which means what's going to be left for this larger portion? 22 minus 6, which is? Okay. Is that going to also be true of 8 elevenths of the whole thing? Yeah, 8 times 2 gives you 16. So you can confirm that those are your numbers. Okay. And then how can you find what the length of that red segment would be? Use Pythagorean theorem. Can anybody tell me what this leg would be without using a calculator? Does this fit one of the special forms we talked about yesterday? No. So the hypotenuse is what with respect to this leg? 6 is twice 3. So you have x, 2x, and what kind of a triangle are we looking at here? Uh, what kind? It's, it's not a 45, 45, 90. 
30, 60, 90, right? The, the hypotenuse is twice the length of one of the legs means that you have a 30, 60, 90. So that means this length right here is going to be 3 root 3. Using the same idea, what's this length going to be in the larger triangle? 8 root 3. So what's your total length of the common internal tangent? 8 root 3 plus 3 root 3 is 11 root 3. Okay. Now, if it doesn't fit one of these patterns, what would you use to solve this? Pythagorean theorem, and you'd get your answer for this length. And then you'd do the same thing. You could either uh, convert it using ratios, or you can do each individual um, right triangle Pythagorean theorem and add up the individual parts. And, but here I picked numbers that gave you nice, convenient, um, common values that you should be able to work with. 